and welcome to CI in Under 5. My name is John Weezy, and in this episode, I'm going to introduce you to accessing data via on-premise data gateways. This is a follow-up to the video on Power Platform data flow connectors. So if you haven't seen that video, I suggest going and watching that quick video first, um, as that is required uh, in order to enable uh, on-premise data gateways. I'm going to start by showing you that I have a folder on my local machine. You can see it's on my C drive. Uh, the folder is called Gateway Share and has this contact TXT file in it. Um, all I did was share this out, and I didn't share it with anybody other than myself. So I went to give access to uh, specific people, and let me bring that window over here so you can see it. Um, and it's just shared with myself. So I'm the owner, I hit share, it then shares it out. So this folder has been shared. Now what I need to do is create a gateway so that I can access it. So if you haven't installed it yet, uh, when you go to the... Uh, gateway page here and you click on new gateway in your make.powerapps.com it will take you to this page you can click download for the on-premise data gateway and that will install uh, or download for you to install the Azure uh, gateway software so that's this on-premise data gateway software I'm going to go ahead and click sign in here it wants my admin account for my um, for my CI tenant uh, so the account that I'm going to use to set all this up is the account that I'm going to provide. Then what's going to do is it's also going to ask me about um, my Azure account. So it's going to ask me to log in and I'm using the same account so I'll make it nice and simple. Here I'm going to use the same account. It's going to ask me for my password. And then, as you can see, gateway wasn't found. Try and configure a gateway. So I haven't set one up, so I'm going to create one now. And before I do that, I'll just show you over here. If I go in here and I look at my gateways in my make.powerapps console, you'll see that there's no gateways. So jump back over. I'm going to register a new gateway. We'll give it a name, PPDF Demo. And I can give it any key I want here. It just has to be seven digits or characters long. I'll click continue. Another key thing is the uh, region down here. If I needed to change the region because it's not the same region, I would need to do that. Your uh, gateways that show up here in uh, the Power Apps portal should be uh, showing you any gateways that are in the same region that uh, your Power Platform um, Dataverse is in. So you can see here I'm now ready to use this gateway in the Power Apps or Power Automate or Power BI. If I come back over here and I refresh, we should see now that I have this new gateway. So now you can see the PPDF demo is being created and that's all set. Um, the key is I have to leave this window open. If I close this window, the gateway goes away on my local machine. There's no connection. So this is the piece that leaves the connection open. So I'm going to leave it open there. And I'm going to jump over to Customer Insights and click on Add Source. Import data. And I'm going to call it On-Prem Data. Hit Next. I'm going to choose Folder from the list of connectors. I'm going to give it the path on my local machine. So my machine was called the Oasis. And the path is, or the shared path is uh, gateway share, right? So if I go back out here, just confirm it's called gateway share. And I'm going to pick my PDF, my demo connection, which it's already picked. I could select that if it wasn't. I give it my user that I'm going to authenticate on the local machine with to get access to that share. And then I'm going to click next. Okay, so it authenticated me, did all the connections, and you can see here that it shows me the files that I have in this folder. And since I only have one, there's only one that I have to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and click transform. That will then open up the file and show me what's here. I can click on binary here for the content for that file. That'll add a step over here on the right into my steps. And then I am now in kind of our familiar place of importing data using Power Query. And you can see it's going to figure out all the columns that I have and all that stuff. 
and now I can use this just like I would anything else. I'm going to have to uh, promote my first row as headers, and I'm going to set up my uh, data sources or the uh, types for each of the columns that I need to change, and give it a query name and all that fun stuff, and click Next. Okay, we'll promote the headers. And then I'm just going to give it a name. I'll just call it Contacts. I'm going to click Next. And we're all set. It's going to now give me the option, as you saw in my previous video, I can configure how, it re how often it refreshes. And then it's going to go ahead and perform the refresh of the data. So that is a quick video on using on-premise data gateways with the new Power Platform Dataflow connectors in Customer Insights. Hope you enjoyed this video and tune in again as we release more videos.